Hey folks, part two of the bar chord exercise lesson. Um, before, if uh, please find it on there, obviously, so you can kind of start from scratch to start from part one. But part one, I discussed doing a power chord. So first finger, ring finger, and then adding the pinky. Okay, so part two of this is we're gonna add our middle finger, and there's two exercises we're gonna do with this. So, basically the middle finger goes on the second fret of the third string. And then you're gonna put all four fingers down. Now this is going to be pretty tough for you at first, so just keep moving it down. If it doesn't sound good, do not worry about it. Just keep moving it down because what's going to happen is we want our fingers to mold into position. And once they mold into position, you're going to be able to get this and you'll be able to move it up the neck. Same exact thing on the next string, and what you're going to notice is when you do it on the next string, it's going to sound kind of sad. And that's a minor chord, basically. Now for most of you guys, this will be pretty hard actually. So it looks like it's pretty easy the way I'm doing it, but it, it's kind of hard when you're a beginner. So the next exercise I give with this is taking your first finger away. Okay, so then you're working on just strengthening your middle ring and pinky. So this exercise right here that we just did, we're going to take our first finger off the guitar. What this is allow us is going to do is get those fingers up so they're not flat. If they're flat, it sounds like this. <laughs> that sound, which we don't want. So this is getting our fingertips up. I call it like on the tippy toes of your fingertips. And then you can hear all those notes sound good. So I would move that formation down, just like you did with the first finger. The only difference is we don't have our first finger on the guitar, okay? So to recap, we're just adding our, pink, our middle finger, excuse me, onto the chord, and then we're gonna do it without our first finger if we can't get that exercise. Okay. Part three is coming up. It's a really short one, um, but I want to separate them as much as possible. That way, it forces you guys to take your time through it. Because when I do teach this, you know, to my students, my private students, it's about a two-week, you know, it's about two-week exercise to get done. So part one is the one week, part two is the second week, and then part three we put it all together. So please go and subscribe. Um, find us at onestopguitar.com also. I got plenty of videos up there. Um, I've also got a six week course that you can sign on to. It's interactive, it's really cool. Um, so there's more information on the website. So please find us and then part three is coming real soon. Thank you.